Capricorn. Welcome to your weekend love reads from the 20th to the 22nd of December. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section, please, because I love reading the comments. It's how I connect with you guys. Uh, these are general readings, so they're not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. Maybe next time, hit the notification button so you don't miss the next message. And then go and check out one of the other uh, of amazing, there's so many of them, some great readers out there on YouTube. So uh, go search them out. Um, also, I've just released the information for the free giveaway, the free personal reading giveaway. So go ahead to the community page on my channel and that will actually uh, give you a link to a video. The video will tell you exactly how to enter. Whew, that's all the messages for this week. <laughs> okay, let's get started with your love messages, please. Love messages this weekend for Karen. Take the flipped card that's here as well. Okay. Interesting. Right. Hmm. Capricorn. I feel like um It looks to me like they're trying to fix something with someone. But this person is like bitter and um, maybe not uh, loyal as well. There's a lack of, I don't know, like almost like a lack of commitment going on here. Like doesn't want to actually give you an answer either way for some reason could be male or female i'm only reading it as a female because it's a queen someone told me off the other day because i was reading males and females and i'm like well they're queens and kings so that's how it is um so yeah reverse it if you need there's no genders here but um that the queen which is what the card is she is kind of digging her heels in is what I'm feeling. All right, let's do this. Five of swords, please. Yeah, it's like someone wants to lay down the fighting. So it could be an Aries that you're dealing with. Uh, this could be you as well. Just being quite a, like a structured kind of mm, serious, yeah. You're like, I'm done with the fighting. I'm done with the tower. We've fought enough. I'm tired of this now. We've had all of this stuff. Um, and I, I feel like this person over here is being directive and saying enough is enough. We need to sort this out kind of thing. And then there's this, this cup of love offered. Um, but Queenie over here, she's still sulking. She's still upset. <laughs> Poor Queenie. All right, what's the Ace of Cups, please? Thank you. Mm. I actually think that that isn't the end of the love. I actually think it's the like it's the end of the fighting and starting the new part of the like a, a new offer for this is how I think our relationship should be going forward. Um, I'm not picking this up as end of opportunity. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. That's what I'm more getting. Um, but this is more of a transformation kind of thing. Like we need to transform where we've been because this isn't working. So, you know, if we need to make some changes in this relationship. Queenie's sulking though. Why is Queenie sulking? Queen of Wands in reverse, please. Queen of Wands reversed. Because <laughs> she's trying to protect herself. All right. So she's coming across as quite bitter and cold because that is all she knows. That is how she defends herself. That is how she protects her heart with her sword. Um, if she's not using her sword, she's using a stick. But either way, she's going to get you before you get her because she cannot be hurt. So she's actually coming across as, she's not coming across as queen of swords in reverse. 
because that would be really mean and like psycho. That would be a psycho person. She's coming across on the outside as very calm, considered. She's probably not giving this person much. Um, this could be you guys, Capricorn. So, you know, I'm trying to keep the two energies separate. But she is very standoffish, removed, kind of like disengaged, like meh. You do whatever you need to do. I don't care. But inside, she is bitter, probably a little bit jealous. Um, there, there does seem to be a lot of jealousy here. I don't know what's happened. Um, but she, yeah, yeah, I've just, the jealousy things just hit me actually. Um, but yeah, okay, what's the world card here, please? What's, what's the world? World in reverse, sorry, world in reverse, sorry. Oh, two cards. Oh, <laughs> uh, I've actually never had that happen, I don't think. <laughs> so I've got the four of wands and the two of cups. So four of wands in reverse and the two of cups in the upright. So basically, it's like having a double negative, like a positive and a negative, sorry, to cancel each other out to zero. Um, okay. So it's kind of telling me that well it actually is a positive thing in this because this does form a dub, double negative and this is saying you know it's not ending the the amazing connection that you guys have this this cannot be broken this two of cups connection it's like an invisible thread can't be broken and this unhappiness is this unhappy um family house home marriage whatever it is that's not working that is also like that needs to be fixed is kind of thing is what it's saying to me here so there's an opportunity to, to improve all of this, really. But I think it's stuck here. It's stuck here for sure. Let's have a look at most likely outcome, please. Most likely outcome for this weekend. I think it's all going to come to a head this weekend. I don't know why. Yeah, see, and I think this is you, Capricorns, making the offer, the peace offer. Okay. If you make the peace offer, universe is in your court. Yeah, because there is this, this is like, there may be children involved in this relationship as well, but um, this is another soulmate card. So you've got all three soulmate cards on the table. So that's why I think the universe is supporting you because this is definitely a divinely guided union. 100% and star card just came out as well so yeah you've got the backing of the universe like they're in your corner 100% so you go ahead you do what you need to do and the universe is going to try and sort the rest out for you which is pretty good if only everyone had that might buy a lottery ticket if you want all right advice please advice yeah there's there's an element of oh yeah okay this negative behavior that needs to stop straight away this selfish narcissistic behavior whoever's doing it it needs to end like that it's saying change that stop doing that um and also negative communication i'm getting here as well negative communication negative behavior it's all got to stop I just dropped a big chunk of cards then, sorry. One more. Yeah, because that's the only way, because this is causing both of you a lot of mental anguish, and that's the only way. If you can stop this negative thoughts, negative communication, like these are both swords, then that, like, death card, end it, stop. 
in, finish, transform into positive um, because that's the key to releasing this negative thought pattern, negative emotions like overthinking, being stuck in your own thoughts kind of thing. That's, that's the key to releasing that. Okay, and I feel like you've both got a part to play in that as well. Most like, uh, sorry, romance angel. Romance angel. Getting to know each other. This is a key point. So you two actually need to go back to basics and get to know each other again. Because somewhere you've lost sight of all of this stuff that's going on this that was going on you know you still have the connection universe is saying you've still got the connection it's just this bit that's broken for some reason the marriage bit or the relationship bit or the home bit you know we've got soulmate on the uh on the bottom of the deck as well okay capricorn that's what i've got for you don't forget to um hit like subscribe comment and check out the video so that you get access to the free personal reading giveaway uh, on the community page. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you for the weeklies. Bye.